If you're gonna bust your ass, let's make sure we get it on camera. <laughs> um, with all the cameras you got set up, yeah. Well, I think we'll get it. Half the time, I forget to turn them all on. <laughs> Evoto AI wireless tether to the iPad in the woods. <laughs> all right, guys, we are on location today with Model Paris tethering live into the iPad using Evoto AI where we can see the shots as they come up and also edit them on the fly. Really cool that we were able to monitor the shots, tether on location, basically out in the woods, just being able to hand the iPad over to the client and let them just swipe through the photos. That's a huge thing and they love that. It makes you look a lot more professional. It looks like you've got a, a, hey, this is pretty cool, right? So I would definitely recommend this workflow for anyone working on location or even in studio. This is just fantastic. All right, guys, so we'll do some photo shoot behind the scenes and stick around later. We'll, we'll do an edit on the iPad and Evoto AI. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. If you got something to say, leave a comment. Let's go. So I've got it set up. I've got the camera connected to my phone's Wi-Fi hotspot as well as the iPad. And I'm retouching while I'm doing the photos into the iPad. Fancy, right? Very fancy. So I'm just gonna put this here. I'm gonna leave this light right here. I don't even know what this is gonna look like, but I had imagined like shooting right through here. So maybe stand like right in between those two sticks. Yep, just like that. Okay, so I've got my soft box, my light placed so that the light is coming from the same direction as the sun so it mimics that sunlight and hopefully will fill in some of the harsh shadows coming through the trees. I'm gonna bring this light a little closer. Like this. Maybe feather a little bit. The light hitting your face without this is pretty nice, actually. So I'm just gonna try to soften that up a bit. Get a little bit closer. Yeah. Good. Nice. So let me get a shot without the flash. And the light is not bad. Is it still going off? No, it's not. So I turn it back on. And it's just a little touch of light. Just to help. Alright. Let's do the wide angle in the wood shot. Good. Wide angle, low, low point of view shot. Now I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, that's perfect. Even lower. That's cool. Yeah. Stretch out a little bit. Might have to move the light out in front of you. We'll see. Yeah, it's kind of a... Can you see it? That's pretty cool. That's so we nice. got our own nice. out in the woods tethered, tethered monitoring. <laughs> tethered monitoring out in the woods. And it's actually retouching. You don't really need any retouching. Nope. That's the challenge with them. Um, fire. Yeah. <laughs> kind of let's make your job easier. <laughs> All right, so let's just take a look at some of these shots on the iPad and do a quick edit. Here's the shot without the flash, right? Just looking at the scene there. And then we've got some of these shots that I was kind of dialing the flash in here. 
Um, not a lot to do, just trying to fill shadows a little bit, right? So let's just pick one of these. Let's go back to, let's go to this one right here. So on the fly, uh, it already edited. You've got your recommended presets here where Evoto has all their color presets, right? And then you got my presets. And you can see that uh, it came, my presets are there from the cloud, right? Which is really cool. So I use obviously Evoto on my laptop and PC. And so those presets sync to the cloud and they come down when you set it up on the iPad. So they are here. And I set it up during the tethering to use my skin retouch only. So it's already pretty much um, retouched, but we'll go ahead and hit that. So not a lot to do. Uh, let's look at the before and then the after. So you can see there's just a small change, a little bit of dodge and burn there. Uh, she doesn't really have any freckles or acne, so that's good. The cool thing is, and I shoot for brand, a lot of brands and things like that, sometimes with models they'll like the model, but they don't want the tattoos and all the shots. So one thing that's pretty cool, if you go down to the blemish removal, you go into the retouch panel, and you go down to the tattoos, you can just turn that on and watch this. It processes it and it removes those tattoos. Isn't that amazing? So like a lot of brands, when you know they want you to focus on the clothing and the style, they don't they think sometimes they'll they'll consider you know tattoos a little bit of a distraction, right? So I've had a brand do that and I had to remove tattoos on around 60 shots for the brand. And having to do that retouch by hand would have just taken forever. And look, I can do this on one shot and then I can select multiple shots here, right? I can hit sync and I'm just gonna sync everything, right? And it's going to, give it a sec, sync that tattoo removal to the other shots, right? Very cool. So if I had 60 shots here that I wanted to say remove the tattoo from, I could do that, right? I like her tattoos. I, I don't see, you know, I'm not doing this for a brand. Uh, this is a personal portrait shoot, so we'll leave them there. We've pretty much got the retouch uh, in line. Let's go to the color adjustments panel, right? And I have a preset for that. Let me just, I think it's going to, it's, I usually use it for the color adjuster. We'll just do my default colors, right? And it's going to give it a little bit of a color pop. It uh, bumped the highlights and the shadows a little bit, gave it some contrast. So let me show you what it's doing. Uh, left the white balance alone. Okay. Gave it some contrast. I just hit something there by accident, uh, but it uh, gave it some highlights and some shadows because uh, usually I'm shooting raw. These were JPEG, but it seems to work pretty well. Um, the JPEGs will give you that, that bump in the highlights and the shadows. This gave it a little bit of a vibrance. And in the curves, I have a custom little curve set up where I'll bump those highlights a little bit. Uh, the super, the, the extreme highlights, I call them. I was about to say super highlights, but we'll bring those down a little bit because I don't think it's necessary. So I don't really mess with the color grading. I like to leave the colors as they are usually. I'm just not a color grading person okay i like the colors on the scene most of the time occasionally i'll go in and maybe bump up i'll go into the hsl and uh you know if there's something that's too uh, red or too orange especially with darker skin tones i'll bring the orange down a little bit or the yellow down maybe but uh, most of the time i use the color grading as a corrective feature and not something to enhance uh, my photos so uh, detail I've sharpened it a little bit okay that's pretty much it so we're almost done I can come over here and I can then crop the image for Instagram at 4 by 5 right and so let's bring that image down and we'll bring her in just a little bit like that so that looks pretty good and then when I'm ready to you know export the edited image I can hit this export at the top right all right and we've got one images to export and the default file format is JPEG. If I wanted to do further editing, say I had to do uh, some specific stuff that I wanted to edit, I could use TIFF file to keep all that information in there that I want to if it was shot in raw, okay? Uh, quality I usually leave to best and then I would export it, okay? And that is all there is to it. I could select multiples and export multiples as well. You've got this down here. And I could long press, it says, and swipe left and right for multiple selections. So if I wanted to sync this edit across 
multiple selections. I could just like that. And I have the options of what I want to sync here. And I can sync this across all the files. I can sync this across this group of files. And I'm pretty much done. So that is all there is to it, editing on the iPad in Evoto AI. All right, thanks for watching today, guys. If you're still here watching, I really appreciate you. If you've got any questions, leave comments below. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and have a good one.